Hey guys, uh, outside the den bar here, where I'm gonna do open mic comedy. Uh, we get to learn together, uh, share tips and all that sort of thing. It's not in front of a crowd, but uh, I'm wearing my bear skin tonight. It's a little Hannibal Lecter because I did kill him and I did eat him and I am wearing his skin. This next comedian is one of the hottest new comedians coming through the West Coast. Everybody give it up for Dingo Jack! Blah, blah. You'll have to forgive me, Chad. Uh -oh. I couldn't have found a place to hang my evening show. But uh, I got a lovely place for it right here. I figured you could use a better skin rug right by the fire. How's that? Oh, perfect. Is there anyone who'd like to hear the story about him? <laughs> Uh, not ham, him. <laughs> hey, that was a pretty good song, dude. Hey. Well, I uh, I was fishing by the river back home, and uh, well, I ran into a lovely Scottish gentleman. And down there, it's mo very multicultural. Change of encouragement that was until he saw my sidearm, and he says to me, "Aye, that's a sign of terror where I'm from. I don't know want to see that." And I said, "A sign of terror." Well, it's a sign of bear protection yeah, exactly. where I come from, which is here. And there's signs all over that there's bears literally everywhere behind us. So if I was you, I would not complain. Well, what ended up happening at that point was uh, he kept on until he got these three guys from Israel started in on me as well. So I said, listen, I'm half Scottish and half Jewish. Does that mean I got to kick the living crap out of myself? Well, he finally got off my case. So I said, uh, listen, listen, mate. In the U.S., we hang our meat out to cure for three days. In Scotland, you do it for seven. Now, if I went to your country, I wouldn't be telling you. You're eating rotten meat and wearing, the, wearing a skirt. I would eat that rotten meat pie and I'd love it. But that's just how I roll. <laughs> now, guys, there's a reason I'm doing this in a Scottish accent. Because uh, we have a we have a, a show. All that's left of it is a Dingo Jack channel on YouTube, the, and we have 98 lovely subscribers. 98, so it's getting huge. <laughs> I know it's not a lot, but I got a uh, a request from one of the fans. His name is Shitaka. I thought he was Japanese. It wasn't Japanese. It's my buddy Chris Shitaka number five. So anyway. Anyway, he asked me to do the next the next bit in a Scottish accent. So, I wrote this bit, and it's uh, it's uh, eight reasons, no, eight advantages of wearing a kilt. Reason number one: the only events that I wear a Scottish kilt through the year is uh, Renaissance Fair, St. Patsy's Day, and uh, the Scottish Games. During those days, drunken women become construction workers and treat us like a plate of bacon. So we get to feel how they feel, how we make them feel for the rest of the year. So that's how we make women feel. Reason, <laughs> Reason number one, you'll never get your junk stuck in a zipper. Reason number two, briefly, there is no briefs. Reason number three, if you break wind, you can fan it in the other person's direction. Reason number four, aye, the ventilation is nice, especially if you get sweaty in the undercarriage. Reason number six, aye, if you got jock itch, all you gotta do is walk over some tall pampas grass to scratch your junk discreetly. Reason number seven, if you're not circumcised, you got easy access to a place to hide your chewing gum in a sandstorm. Reason number eight, aye, after me lucky charms again, are you? <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Super Trucker Tim, I mean, no, Shrek. 
That was Shrek, I think. That was Dingo Jack. Shrek in person. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dingo Jack, everybody. Uh, I don't understand Scottish. I, I, can't, I can't understand it. Uh, he thought the movie was called Brave Fart. Oh, nice. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. I thought that movie was called Shark. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, I just finished up at the Den Bar. It's really cool because uh, we can go there and learn from other comedians or free classes. Uh, no crowd, they just, it's all practice. And uh, it's, it's really a lot of fun. Uh, I talked about kilts today, which uh, got my kilt on and uh, did my bit. And uh, the part that I couldn't fit in because of time that I really wanted to was to enlarge on uh, how women act <laughs> around kilts. And it's pretty funny. Uh, this last uh, Renaissance Fair, I got groped twice, and not just a little bit. And uh, St. Patty's Day, wore a kilt in there. We'll never do that again. And then uh, went to the Scottish Games. Now, this is a funny story because I'm 220 pounds, so I'm not a little guy. And I thought I would fit in nicely there and be able to throw stuff. But come to find out, most of the guys there were... 350 to everywhere up to 500 pounds huge i started talking to this one guy and uh, i just said man i thought you guys were extinct you know i'm half jewish so i said man i i thought you guys either died in the ice age or uh my ancestor killed the last of you guys with a sling stone then i was going to crack a joke about the sling stone is a weapon you can carry on an airplane because you can wear it as a g-string and nobody's going to question you carrying a few rocks in your pocket but i didn't have time for that yeah i actually ended up hanging out with the chicks in the chicks <laughs> tent and most of the girls were about my size in fact i'm in the back curling 60s i'm getting ready to do a throw and there's a girl my exact dimensions massive next to me curling 60s she looks over at me and says Oh, that's cute. And uh, a little bit disarming. Emasculating. He says to me, uh, hey, I noticed your, your skill, your technique is a little bit off. Is, is this your first, uh, your first event? And I said, uh, yeah, I guess you could say I'm losing my Scottish virginity. And she said, uh, well, I'm Scottish. So, yeah, they don't play around. 